Okay, Virgo. So this is for Virgos who are dealing with a Scorpio for the month of November 2021. If you'd like to make a purchase, it's tarotbarbie.com. I read for all 12 signs, Virgos. When you purchase with me, I don't read only for Virgos. I read for all 12 signs. So if you're not a Virgo and you'd like to make a purchase, you're more than welcome to go ahead and do so. Let's get a sweeties coming in with the Devil card, the Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Between you and your Scorpio here, Virgos, uh, somebody here has to definitely release the addictions and to stay on the right path and to not allow peer pressure to come and mess with you guys' energy. Virgos, this most likely is a you out here. Uh, regardless, though, it's better for you guys to just stay fine, take care of yourselves, work out, do your thing, and stay focused, all right? Somebody here is losing hope here, Virgos, with the, with the, with the, with the, <laughs> with the star card in reverse. You, some of you guys might be in a relationship with somebody just for the hell of it here, Virgos. Enough with that. If you don't want to be with them anymore, do not be with them and make a move. Whether this is Scorpio or Virgo, if it's not working out for you, don't be like, oh, I'm afraid of being single. Well, what's going to end up happening? Just go for it. Just do what you need to do. Don't be in a relationship that's not going to be able to serve you anything better. And a lot of you guys are ignoring your truth. Because the clarity is right there. You have the clarity that you need, but some of you guys are literally ignoring yourselves because you guys might be dealing with somebody who's very much so deceptive, very narcissistic, very emotionally unbalanced here, Virgos. And it looks like you guys don't want to move forward anymore with this person anymore. Coming with the Emperor card, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. It brings a lot of instability into your life and um, immature behavior here as well. It's just not working out for you guys. Some of you guys also don't feel motivated enough to put in the work between the two of you guys. It looks like your person might be a little bit jealous of you, Virgos, coming with the Five of Swords to the Eight of Wands energy, jealousy. Your man or your girl is jealous of you. Somebody's jealous of somebody, and it's a lot of envy and jealousy here, Virgo. Somebody here makes more money than the other person. Somebody doesn't like that. Uh, regardless, though, do expect your your cancer, your Scorpio part of me to come through for you and, and trying to see the, the relationship works. But they may actually tell you that they don't have the energy to make the relationship work, whether this is you guys or them. And you guys are going to be sitting here single and focusing on yourselves here uh, and, and removing the stress. And you guys need to get back in your power here, Virgos. All right, I'm going to flip you guys. You guys need to get back into your power. You guys need to become the uh you guys need to become the 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 the, the temperance card to the you guys need to become the empress card to the nine of pentacles. You need to understand who you are. Your inner goddess, you know what I mean? Take control, take your power back from anybody who tried to suck that shit out of you. You know what I mean? You guys Virgos don't even come at me on some stupid shit. You guys would have been the first ones to say I would never tolerate some shit like that. I would never be in a relationship if I wasn't emotionally fulfilled. I would never deal with a narcissistic type of person. And then you guys end up getting in, in, in a relationship with a narcissistic person. I'm here to snap your asses back into reality, Virgos. Snap out of it. Get back into check again. Whether this is a Scorpio or a Virgo. I don't care who it is. Somebody here told, told themselves that they will never end up in an abusive, narcissistic, and un unemotional relationship. And I, you would never settle for less. And that's exactly what you guys ended up doing there, Virgos. I'm going to get you guys' energy back with the rose cord and fill your hearts up with lots and lots of love. Lots and lots of love, Virgos, all right? Because you guys were blinded for way too long. And you guys need a lot of healing to do at the end of the day on an emotional level. But you'll get there. And during the full moon energy of the month of November, you guys are going to be having a little bit of a hard time deciding what do you do? Do you Should you stay? You guys' faith is not all that great at the moment here, okay? You guys you guys have blessings. Um uh, and and everything coming towards you guys but some of you guys are lacking faith you know your faith is very important if you're lacking on the faith and hope and always have hope virgos you know what i mean at the bottom of the deck i got the ten of wands you guys are look like you're going to continue to push forward uh and focusing on yourself some of you guys might be married or in a long-term relationship with this person at the end of the day and you guys are going through a lot of hiccups at the moment however though virgos uh your family means really a lot to you as well and you guys Somebody here makes more money than the other person. Somebody here. If this, if you are the female and you make more money than your man, your man don't like that shit. But you are the breadwinner. So it is what it is at the end of the day. Okay? Uh, regardless of where it goes, a lot of sadness, a lot of heartache from this person putting you in 3-3 three, three situations. Call on your angels to help you out, Virgos. Call on the archangels to help you out because they'll be the... They don't interfere unless you guys ask them for help. They're not allowed to interfere in, in human life if, unless you ask them for help. So the moment you ask them for help, they, they'll be right there by your side, regardless of they are going to be rushing back for you. And be careful that this person's not going to be manipulating you. They are going to be watching you, stalking you here because they're still cleaving onto you. They're hoping that they can give to you. But the thing is, Virgos, oh, look at this. The Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. Energy switches up. Throop. 
<laughs> for the next Virgos now, <laughs> some of you guys are very much so in love with your with your with your Scorpio. Some of you guys are very absolutely um, emotionally fulfilled when it comes to your Scorpio. Absolutely. Some of you guys, the first spread was for a certain energy. And now we're going to another spread, okay? Uh, the Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. This is you guys. You guys look like you're doing really, really great, Virgos. Like everything is working out. Slow and steady wins the race between the two of you guys. You're incredibly passionate for each other. Your love life is amazing. You guys are both in your power. This is a power couple, 100. You guys really, really complement each other. To the, to you, you. It's it's like fireworks. Like boom, 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 fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> very cute energy virgos she is definitely a loyal man a loyal woman to her man and he is definitely a loyal man to her to his woman and for that comes in a power couple between the two of you guys there with the strength card king of wands all right everything is balanced between the two of you guys you guys have a lot of love for each other and a lot of heart for each other too you guys have struggled and went through a lot of shit together at the same time virgos but at the end of the day whatever is going to be coming towards you regarding this relationship whatever obstacles are going to come towards you you guys are going to be able to make it through and come out dancing in the end anyway <laughs> this is a couple who's not going to give up just because a tower moment comes in this is not a couple who's going to run away from each other just because a tower or some shit ended up coming in this is this relationship here is not for the weak okay this specific this six seven nine card spread here is not for the weak this is for two people who they will they want love they're gonna get love and vice versa and no matter how much darkness comes no matter how much shit goes down breakups what they're gonna make sure it works because of the two of them they love each other so much and when they realize that when they're together with each other they become a power couple they get shit done this is a couple that gets shit done all right virgos you guys have been through a whole lot at the end of the day but regardless though you're highly intuitive here and there might be a little bit of struggles coming towards you guys, Virgos. Uh, just be mindful that you guys don't end up fighting with this person for stupid shit because it looks like you guys have a lot of happiness here with the Six of Wands and the Four of Wands energy. You guys might be living with each other. But it's saying that the complete, that you're not, you're you're almost at the completion. You're almost at your 10, Virgo, so 9. So even if it goes through struggles, you still got to get to the 10 at the end of the day. So don't give up. It's what that's saying to you guys, all right? You guys have been through a lot of confusion, but regardless though, you guys are going to be speaking your truth to your to your Virgo here. The, the wheel is going to continue to turn. And you guys are going to find a way to speak to them. You guys are calling judgment. Next, next amount, the next set of Virgos now, okay? You guys have a Scorpio here who misses you very, very much, Virgos. They should have fought for the connection between the two of you guys. A lot of you guys might be a far distance from this person. Uh, however, though, they are going to be reaching out to you. They feel so left out in the cold by the fact that they can't get to see you all the time. And the fact that they have to travel to you, fight for you, come back to you. I just did three spreads for three different energies in this read in eight minutes. I should have a round of applause. <laughs> okay five pentacles king of swords three of wands and you can feel the shift come in it's crazy uh so they're going to be coming in virgos they want to talk to you they might actually try and reach out and ask you if they can come over to your home or something and and, and see if they can come by because this person's still waiting on you uh there was obviously uh an ending to a relationship but because of some because your scorpio was being so stupid head straight up i said what i said this is for another set of virgos now your scorpio was being a stupid head which caused you guys a lot of stress sadness but you guys are doing the best you guys can to stay on the correct path here virgos now they're going through a lot of turmoil betrayal themselves and everything that they, you guys did to plant into this relationship they're receiving it back tenfold now so now they want to run away from it and they want to come back for you because a lot of you guys might not even be there anywhere to, to be found so they are going to be reaching out to you expressing to you how they feel about you but virgos you guys little do you guys know you guys have uh, new beginnings coming towards you or your Scorpio does for that matter. However, though, it's going to be ultimately into your hands on who it is you're going to choose. Do you want to be by yourself? Do you want to be with your Scorpio? This is four different readings for four different energies in one uh, in one video, Virgos. A round of applause for, for Barbie. Yay! <laughs> All right, cuties. Uh, thanks, Virgos. Thanks, Scorpios. Uh, and then enjoy your month of November and good luck to whoever's dealing with this stuff at the end of the day and do what you need to do. Thanks, cuties. Bye.